Mary Me, which is Greybeard Crow Father here. I apologize about the lack of videos that I've been doing over the past week and a half or so. It's been uh, pretty rough on me lately with uh, the uh, pneumonia that I developed um, a week and a half ago, and then on uh, this past. Um, Wednesday, West yesterday, uh, still recovering from the pneumonia, and then I got my um, second COVID shot, and that took me down for a little bit of time. I had some uh, pretty nasty chills and then a lot of heavy-duty body aches. Feeling better from that, just trying to take it easy, but um, I wanted to get a, a video in for y'all tonight and say hi to everybody, and hopefully everybody's staying safe and healthy. Um, real quick, I, uh, wanted to go over, um, one of the books that I always post about in the Wicca subreddit when people ask about, you know, what book should they get, what, 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 you know, they should use and what they should read. Um, <clears throat> I have already gone over the, uh, Scott Cunningham guide for the solitary practitioner, um, but one of the other ones that I highly, highly recommend is the Witch's Bible from Janet and Stuart Farrar. Now, this particular book is actually a combination of two of their books. The first being that it is the first part of the book is uh, one of their old uh, not older, but one of their old books called Eight Sabbaths for Witches. And they actually combine both into this. So it's a really good resource. Um, it covers the Sabbaths in depth and actually gives you examples of what you can do as far as uh, celebrations or how to actually, you know, perform a ritual on the Sabbath. And then after the section of the Sabbaths is the in-depth um, in regards to pretty much everything you would need to know in regards to practicing from tools to uh, dress to, um, you know, uh, beliefs and everything that you would need comprehensively covered. Um, one of the things I do want to let you know about though is with this book if you are planning on uh, getting it which I do highly recommend um, that there are uh, semi I guess nude photos if you want to call it that and I don't know what you feel or how you feel about it some people will be offended by it some people won't I don't really care I mean it's just an actual uh, natural part of the way that uh, witchcraft and wicked developed some people do practice skyclad, some don't, some do sometimes, and some don't sometimes. But just wanted to give you the heads up on that. Now, if you are planning on purchasing it and look for the price, it is listed as $28.95. Um, I got it from one of our uh, local metaphysical shops all along long time ago but um but um if you can find it for that price or cheaper i i i would highly recommend against getting a used copy because you never know how much that copy might have been um you know written in or pages torn or whatever if you want to get a copy you probably want to get yourself an actual brand new copy so Again, highly recommended, very in-depth, covers everything, um, both actually in group settings and solitary setting. So, you know, one of the top three books that I always recommend, um, Solitary Guide, uh, Raymond Buckland, and this. That's all I have for tonight. Uh, again, apologize for the lack of video postings still kind of working my way i think by the time sunday rolls around i should feel 100 percent better and we'll go a little bit more in depth on something else
Again, everybody, stay safe, stay healthy. Graybeard Crow Father signing off. Blessed be everyone.